Yogesh Bhokre, a 23-year-old boy from Surat. Yogesh had polio attack when he was just five, and which left him physically disabled. In spite of his disability, he studied up till class A, and he had to drop out because of economic compulsions. Yogesh, with his father, earning near his house by selling food packets, water pouches, and confectionery items. His earning is just 120 rupees a day. That's his family income. Yogesh is dependent on his father to take him to the marketplace to buy the groceries, to bring him back. So this is a dependency on his father. This is a story of just one disabled person who was helped ultimately. But India is a place for 26 million such disabled people. That means two and a half crore more stories. And adding to it, more than half of them are below poverty line. They are dependent on government to help them with necessary support. Are we able to do something about it? Are we able to help somebody like Yogesh? You know, out of those 26 million, more than 5 million are suffering from disability of movement. They need assistance to walk. And we are making just 200,000 wheelchairs per annum whereas we need more than three and a half million. Trust me, it is going to take us more than 25 years to ensure hands in every disabled's hand. This is a very challenging situation. And adding to it is the quality and aesthetics of our product, which is not as per WHO standard. Even I had no idea about all this a few days back. A few months back, we started working with a public sector enterprise under government of India, this public sector enterprise is making products for disabled, like wheelchairs and tricycles and escalators, which are distributed to the people like Yogesh free. You know, when we entered into the project and uh, we dig deep, I had a chance to visit their existing factory. I went there, saw the condition of the existing products, imagined myself that how a disabled would be using such products. And I could sense that a small improvement in these products can bring comfort to millions of disabled. I asked myself, will I buy this quality of product if I have to spend my own money? Just because we are distributing it for free, it has to be of a substandard quality? Just because the customer do not understand the quality, is it okay to deliver a product with poor aesthetics? No. So we decided to do something about it. I came back, had a discussion with our team. Look, we need to improve this product. The immediate rider came to us is cost. You know, better product, you need more money. Here, an extra cost would simply mean extra money from you, taxpayers. That was not the situation which was practically possible. So we went back to the drawing board and discussed among ourselves. And we went to the government. Look, our scope was not to improve the quality of product. But we went to the government with a proposal. Look, we would like to help you in improving the quality of this product without charging any extra money, number one. And we are not going to increase the manufacturing cost of this particular product. Of course, government happily agreed. So we created a mission statement for ourselves. Improve product quality without increasing cost. It's very good. But how are we going to do about it? So we studied their products, their techniques, their drawings, processes. We went back to the board, understood what all available globally with us. And after analyzing everything, we thought that we can create change by three different ways. One, we can definitely increase the aesthetic of the product. Two, we can work on reducing the weight of the product. And third, we can also provide some attachments which can help disabled to earn his livelihood along with movement. No, we engaged experts from all across the fields. We have put in teams which are working with us from IIT Kanpur to NIT Surat. And these guys are helping us with some basic things. And 
we created three teams for working on these three different areas. A team which is working on aesthetics of product has searched all around the globe to find out best manufacturing techniques which can make this product better. The team has adopted techniques which you might be aware of, like 3D printing, robotic welding, laser cutting, all of this to improve the aesthetics of the product. We have built few prototypes. And I can happily share here that our prototype is meeting WHO quality standards in a, such a short span of two months. It was a very, very encouraging thing for us. Team, which was working on reducing weight of the wheelchair. You know, reducing weight is a very simple thing. You use a better material, you can use titanium, you can use aluminium, you can use stainless steel, and product is lighter. But the challenge here was, if you use any of such material, the cost will go, down, go up. And if the cost goes up, the whole motivation or the motto that we had will fail. So with the given constraint, we went back to the board and created a constraint matrix. This matrix was just to give us an idea of what all possible things that can be done without changing the material. There are some crazy ideas in it. There are some good ideas in it. Then after you know, going through all these ideas, we thought that we will work on option number five, six, and seven. And those who are you know, into the manufacturing ex expert will understand these were practically workable ideas immediately. The idea number five, which is to make product with lesser joint. It's a very simple concept. If you reduce number of joint of a product, automatically the raw material required will go down. Automatically the sturdiness will go up and your quality will improve. We worked on the options, but the challenge here was that if you are reducing number of joint, you have to have latest manufacturing technique to support you, which can make these product without joints. We searched out, find out the partners in Italy, Portugal, who ultimately helped us in creating a unibody design. And the impact is few prototype, we are able to reduce weight by three kgs just by making it a unibody design. It's an amazing discovery just in two months. Another area of work which we started doing is to change cross-section from round to square. It's a very simple, basic concept. But when we were analyzing a lot of designs and trying to simulate few things, it occurred to our mind as an engineer. We, we, are, bound to that. we are bound with that. So changing cross-section from round to square immediately reduced the weight of the product, the frame weight, by 17 to 18 percent. This was a substantial discovery because here we are not compromising on the strength of the product. Without compromising on the strength of the product, if we are able to reduce weight, nothing like it. We made some prototype out of it and we were able to reduce weight another by another three to four kgs. These were some quick wins that we could have. But we wanted to explore every possible opportunity that is available to us in improving the product quality. So we went to the basics. You know, by basics means we imagined a person, an adult male, and we created prototypes after prototypes after prototypes by his hand movement, by his gesture, his sitting positions, and we tweaked lots of points in the existing drawing. With all this, we came up with a list of some 14 changes that we are proposing to the government. Friends, we made a lot of prototypes, experimented with a lot of things. And, without, and interestingly, with even all these changes, the product cost is the same. We are not at all increasing the cost, and we, have, we are able to reduce the weight by four to five kgs. Trust me, on a 24 kg product, Reducing weight by 5 kg is, is a substantial change without changing the material. And we are also able to reduce the number of joints, made it more steadier. Let me show you something here. It is not yet uh, completely fitted, but it shows that this, this product, we are targeting to weigh 19 kg against the standard of 24 kg. This is a change that we are bringing in. Friend, in businesses, we all look forward to completion of the contract as per the given condition. If contract says X, deliver X, 
we deliver x that's it business is important trust me but in play, with the generation of money we can also work on improving the product quality which will impact definitely to the lives of individual again i am not talking about corporate social responsibility it's a separate thing what i am talking about are the small step that as an individual we can take in improving the lives with, as a giving back to the society we all must realize that we have a power to make social changes through our businesses all we need is a little empathy and perspective